Ah, the journey, the journey of life. Um, I think really, I was always used to play around with different um, parts of the cannabis plant, extracting it, playing with it. But I think the real, the real time was when, um, when I, basically when I got ill. So I had a, I had a small blocked artery, which they called a heart attack, which I never really agreed. It shouldn't be called a heart attack. It should be called a blocked vein. But um, that happened, and I, um, I went on a journey because I, I wasn't allowed to smoke anymore. So I went on that on a journey to try and do, to learn how to well to to vape other stuff that well, had no nicotine in it, no THC stuff like that. And all the vape products that I was trying were had other chemicals in them, artificial flavouring, VG, PG. I didn't I didn't see the point because I'm a bit health conscious now, much more than I used to be after the heart attack. So I didn't want to uh, vape any chemicals. So I definitely went on a lots of experiment, lots of R and D to find basically how to extract the oil from the plant rather than making uh, the ISO. Basically the oil can um, be vaped directly so you don't need to add any weird preservatives to it or anything like that. So it's pure, it's natural. It makes me feel a lot better about myself now. Yeah, they don't, I go to all these trade fairs here and I, I, I ask them why. They've all got, no one actually, I, I'm starting to be a few more companies the last couple of months I've noticed, but the last two years I haven't seen anyone that was selling pure CBD oil. That was 94% that was CBD, not mixed with any VG, PG, weird flavorings. So starting to happen, that's for sure, which it, which it should be. It's a natural product. It should be smoked and consumed naturally. Oh, it's got to be my, uh, my, little, my little friend's mum. She's uh, bad arthritis in her hands. She literally, she literally can't move her hands, it's like that. And uh, her son came around and got some oil, just to, to put it in her mouth to see if it worked. And she actually started using it, rubbing it into her skin. And the hands move. So she's actually come back now, she wants stronger. She wants 1500 milligram dose of uh, CBD in it. And, it's very, uh, it's very rewarding to, uh, to be able to do something like that for someone. When I first extracted it from the flower, you know, I know from being in America that, that they do it a lot with THC in America, and I've seen it lots out there, but I wasn't sure whether you could extract it nicely from plants. But when I saw the quality of the, the CBD bud that they have now, thick with oil, I looked at it, I thought I must be able to get this off. Yeah, I was, I was super happy, dude. Super happy, running down the stairs, naked. That eureka moment. It was a eureka moment for sure. Definitely that. My mum, my wife. My wife's got, starting to develop a little. She's getting old with the wife, so she's starting to develop a little bit of a, uh, it's, it's not a bad thing, by the way, it's a good thing. She's starting to develop a little bit of uh, arthritis in her hands as well. So she's been, she's been rubbing it. You know, I have lots of friends that, uh, I'm, I, you know, I make, I make products outside of the brand that are, in, so I do a lot of R&D. So I'm in development on lots of products and I make uh, creams and bath bombs and bath oils that I use. I even make amazing sun tan lotion with zinc and CBD. So when you get burnt, it protects like back to 70 of this stuff. If you don't get burnt, it's great for the kids. And then if any irritation that you get, the CBD usually takes care of it. So the suntan cream, it is very, it is, it is very good because it helps stop the inflammation if you get burnt. I had an, an, a moment not so long ago where I was sitting in uh, a lawyer's office talking about the incorporation of the company and everything else. And there's six lawyers sitting there all around the, uh, all around the table and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there talking about weed and about cannabis, which you never could talk about before in a legal capacity. So uh, that was certainly a moment that I realised I'd, I'd found the right niche. I've done a lot of things, I, I, from the burger business to art galleries, I managed my dad for 11 years. I, I worked with my mum and her organic, I, we had an organic uh, uh, skincare brand that I ran for like six or seven years with my mum. Never really found anything I, I, I wanted to do, you know, so it was never a, 
most people, you know, my son wants to be a boxer, he's going he's gonna to be a boxer. Me, I, I sort of jumped around different careers, different, trying to find my niche and, you know, everything happens for a reason and I, I got ill and I had some time to think and reflect and I saw the, the CBD business emerging around me and uh, yeah, that's a bit of me. I have the love, the passion for it, so I think it was an obvious career choice. Uh, CBD doesn't have the same side effects as weed. It, it, um, T8, well, as THC. Weed is, weed is made up of 140 odd different compounds and or cannabinoids, and they uh, all do different different things. CBD, CBG, CBT, they're all non-psychedelic cannabinoids where THC and CBN, you will affect the brain. So CBD is, for me it's more of a, I have it at quite high doses, so it's more of a body zone. You can get a little bit euphoric, but no mental things. So I feel nice and relaxed, helps me sleep, helps me get stressed with four or five children running around the house. So yeah, it's definitely not the same. No, when the, the tests that they do for say driving with THC in your body, the, you know, because THC and stuff like that can stay in your body for two or three weeks, they figure out another way to test the mental effects. So no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't show up in CBD because they are looking for the actual THC compound rather than different compounds associated with the plant. So CBD is from the flower of a flower. There's a little bit in the stalk. There's none in the seed. I, I, the reason why I was thinking about this because in the seed of a hemp plant recently, I was doing some research. In the seed of a hemp plant, there is you can't get no CBD out of it. On the and the stalk is very minimal, and the leaf too is is quite minimal. So there is the confusion between hemp and CBD, but. I don't really call it hemp. I see hemp oil and you know, that is something you can cook with and there's nothing in it at all, no cannabinoids in it. But when it flowers, and like sort of industrial hemp as well, that from the leaves, you have to use so much hemp to make a little bit of CBD. That's why they've, they've, gen they've genetically made the plant now uh, produce big thick flowers of uh, CBD. So, in future, certainly, they'll be, they'll be extracting it more from the plant rather than industrial hemp from the, uh, from the uh, CBD, from the leaves, because it's such a small amount in the hemp plant. So there is CBD in the hemp plant, but not much. So you're gonna have hemp oil that's produced from the seeds. So that will, and, the, and, and some of the stalk, that will have no CBD in it. Whereas the CBD is coming from the flower and the leaves. There's, a, there's a, a dispensary I go to, I used to go to in California. And everyone used to go to this, this, this dispensary. It's in Orange County. It was like a four hour drive from, like from most, from, well, from LA it's a four hour drive just because of the traffic. But I know people coming in from Vegas, all over, all over California and, and nearing, count, nearing states to go to this one dispensary where they make this rose flavored um, shatter, like a THC. And the way, you know, in America it's saturated, there's companies on every corner, everyone selling every THC, CBD, everyone going mad. So to see this the pull and attraction for quality, and I think that's what, I, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do here, is like, I don't want to be a uh, mass produced brand that white labels and just sticks the logo on it. I actually like to, I, I like the, I think the world is turning into more of a bespoke place anyway. So people like that bespoke service and they like to tailor what they're taking. So I, I, I certainly would like to, like to see Woody's end up with that sort of reputation as, you know, quality man, man you know, a human sitting there putting his love and passion into a product that, that you take home with you, I think is uh, important nowadays. Well, I saw some, there was new, some new government guidelines the other day that you should only be taking, I think it was 60 or 70 milligrams 
per day. Uh, again, I think it's a very personal thing. I think what works for you. I, I, with, a, with a lot of my clients, I, I, they will start at a low dose, maybe 500 milligram oil. And then also you do get, you do get immune to things. So your tolerance level goes up, you need it a little bit stronger. So I, I definitely, uh, I definitely see people's orders going up and the strength going up. So yeah. Yeah, cigarettes are more placebo, no? It's more of a nicotine thing, is you go out during work and you know, after, at lunch, throw a fag, no, all good, but um, uh, I think CBD is just different. I think CBD, you know, I see my wife, she gets the kids to bed, glass of wine, little CBD vape, nice. I think so because nicotine, it's only, a, is there a specific age for vaping, shisha? I, I don't think so. I think you don't want kids to do it. I think they should probably look at that. But as far as I'm concerned, there's no nicotine in it. So uh, the health badness is minimal, I guess. It's, so no, I don't, I, don't, I don't think so, but I'm sure that will change. It should be 16, really. I don't know if I'm allowed to make any, uh, any claims like that, but certainly I could tell you from my own experiences and, and clients that I've had, like with the, the old lady with the arthritis, I think for my son, for his boxing, I think for information as a, as a cream or a lotion, I think he's wonderful. Shoulder injuries and all sorts, and that they rubbed that on and it works. It's seeing is believing on that one. As far as uh, taking it orally, yeah, I, I think it relieves anxiety and, uh, and gets you to sleep, really. It's the pureness of it, so because of my process, I take it and, and I refine it and I refine it and I distill it and I distill it again. I'm getting all the junk and uh, all the, any sort of, I don't want to say junk, but lipids, waxes, anything that's in there, I'm getting out and I'm leaving you with the purest purest product that you can that you can take which you know I did for myself when I after I had my heart attack I needed it to be pure so there was no weird stuff I was paranoid enough as it is about about smoking so it, uh, it's just the purification but distilling whiskey it's the same thing you're purifying you're purifying and then and then you're, you're left with whether it's a CBD or an alcohol you're left with that pure pure form